Hit up YouTube, I'm Eric. Thanks for clicking on the video. And ooh, this music video. Now, I really had a hard time deciding whether or not to make this video because I am on the fence about is this music video is part of the Lunaverse or not. But I decided to just make it because Stan Luna. Now, if you do end up liking the video, please do leave a like. It really does help support the channel. It makes it easier for other viewers to find too. That being said, if you like what I do here and want to see more videos like this in the future, consider hitting that subscribe button. But let's begin this breakdown of Luna's Not Friends music video. And whoa, just like that. This is one of my main arguments as to why this music video is not part of the Luniverse. There's no intro clips, which they are pretty much staples for everything in the Luniverse. If there's an intro clips, there's probably a Luniverse in it. This bullet just appears out of thin air and it curves. Also, bullets don't look like that when shot. The back end part, aka the cartridge, stays in the gun and then gets ejected through the ejection part on top of the gun, while the tip here is the part that actually gets fired out of the barrel and out of the muzzle. But I get it, it's aesthetics. Here we have Heijin that has just been captured by Jintel. Here we have Kim Lip in the bathroom, but what you probably missed were the sinks that are on. There's also a phone, a lipstick, and a gun. This stencil looks like Harley Quinn to me, though it could just be just a gesture. The background just says Wonderbox and to the greatest, most spectacular festival of all. Now, the only festival we know that exists in the Luniverse is the Midnight Festival when the moon shines the brightest where no girl will feel silenced. Here we have Eve going up the spiral staircase. There have only been two spiral staircases within the Luniverse. One was with Olivia Hay, and there's the other one in Eden. These scenes with Jinso and the TVs are her monitoring the captured Heejin from a different room. And Jinso with that double wink. Now we have Heejin in a swimming pool with flower petals, similar to Chu in Why Not and the PTT music videos. Alright, if the number of first person shooters I played have taught me anything, is that that is definitely not what a bolt action sniper sounds like. Here is Heejin ascending the stairs with her sniper and just a few shots later, we see that Jinsoul is after her. Speaking of first person shooters, I guess the stairs were too much for Eve, so she just got into an elevator. And ooh, a black rose, ooh. Here we have Kim Lip on the left next to the shoe and Eve on the right. Oh no, continuity errors. Eve is just suddenly on the left now next to the shoe. Come on, get it together guys. We know how the fight scene is supposed to happen. Eve gets a shoe in the middle of the fight. So why would you show Lippy on the left and Eve on the right and then suddenly cut to the middle of the choreo as if people are supposed to know how they already got there? Then we have Heejin in the center on top of the blue car and Eve, uh...
This is Heejin going down the slide after trying to snipe something. And Jinso at the bottom waiting for her. And ooh, what the, the Kim Lip's eyes are blue. Like the entire eye is blue. This is Heejin picking the locks of her handcuffs. Ooh, Jinso with the winks again. I mean, it looks like it's already loading, so I don't know why you're still typing Heejin. Also, 144 hertz screen on a laptop? Are you trying to load into a video game? Is that what's happening? Brought the gaming laptop during a mission to play some Minecraft? Eve buying an apple? Nice. Of course, no Luna video is complete without someone running. Unless it's PTT. No one ran in that. Also, hey look, it's Season Sniper from earlier. Also, Ryan, you good, bud? You good over there? You just, uh, hanging out? Ooh, blue swing set with blue roses on an airfield. You looking for someone? So the moon is ridiculously close to the earth here. You know, if you could see the moon that clearly with that much detail without a telescope, the moon could be so close that it would actually exceed the Roche limit. Therefore, sending pieces of the moon towards... Alright, we got another continuity error. So, we can all agree that this is the right side of the car, right? So, the left side would be facing towards the moon, right? Boom! And this is definitely the left side of the car, but now the right side is facing towards the moon. So, unless they want us to believe that there are two existing moons... The moon lies still in color. You'd love to see it. But that was my full analysis for Luna's Not Friends music video. Still skeptical whether it's actual Lunaverse or not. But hey, if you like the video, please do leave a like. It really does help support the channel and allows other theorists to find the video too. If you like the way I do here and want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.